actually, I know, another vlog. It's been probably like three months since my last one. <laughs> but um, just popping in. So today I'm getting my hair cut. I'm so excited. So I wanted to change my hair up. I've been wanting to change my hair up for a little while now. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, which you should if you're not Glam Girl Chelsea, um, but a few months ago I had posted two pictures of blonde hair and I was like, which style or which color should I get? Cause I, I do want to go lighter. However, I did experience postpartum hair loss and finally my hair is growing back. So I lost, I'm looking at myself in the mirror. I lost hair like all along here, all along here and a little bit here. So my hair is finally growing back, which if you see a lot of flyaways in my video, that's why, because I have a lot of new growth, like all in the crown of my hair. So I was telling my husband, I was like, yeah, I think I want to dye my hair. And he's like, do you think you should be that your hair is still growing back? And you know, like it might be a little, like still a little sensitive right now. And I was like, mm, good point. So, um, I was like, I, I still want to change my hair up. And then my girlfriend, Ashley challenged me to a duel. So was it last week she sent me this um, reels of this lady and she's like, oh, you would look so good with this haircut. And I was like, mm, I don't know, because last time I cut my hair, like a few days later, I was like, oh, I miss my long hair. And then you know how like somebody tells you something and you keep thinking about it and you're like, hmm, that may not be a bad idea. So yeah, I'm doing it because I'm like, I want to change and a haircut would be a change. So I'm thinking like, the length of my hair to be anywhere between my chin and the tops of my shoulders somewhere in between there um so I'm nervous number one I've never gone to the salon before but they have great reviews number two am I gonna regret this in two days uh number three you guys know I wear my hair in ponytails a lot so I still for it I still need for it to be in a ponytail at the very least but this is going to force me to do my hair more which you know makeup I got you hair I don't know about that. So I, I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited. I'm hoping that I can vlog the experience. If the salon doesn't let me, then I, I won't have too much footage there. But if they do allow me, I will take you on that journey. I'm hoping they do because that's going to be the gist of today's vlog. <laughs> so I'm hoping that they'll let me vlog the process. But yes, and my hair has grown so long. This is the longest my hair has ever been in, my, in all of my life. And I really love it, but hair does grow back and you know, it'll be fun. Um, do you guys like my tree? So, so here's my tree. I do need to put a little tree topper on it, but I'm so excited for this tree. I was like, I wanted something for Vlogmas, something to have in my background that looks very holiday-ish. So I still need to finish decorating it, but yeah, it's my little tree. Well, not little, but you know, my, my little tree. And then here's the rest of my decorations. You see how I didn't put the ribbon on this side? Cause I'm like, they're not gonna see it. Now you are gonna see it. But yeah, that's this side. And then I pushed that over so it wasn't too cluttery in the background. And then look at this mess. There's Riley's jumper. Cause you know, we gotta get things done. And my desk is probably gonna look like this until January 1st. I mean, because I'm filming every day at this point um, to try to stay ahead. But. <laughs> look at it so yeah this is what we're looking this is what we're doing this is what it looks like every day on top of doing regular work and all of the other things that we do but i'm having a lot of fun i'm excited about this so i'm going to get dressed because i need to leave here in oh 10 minutes so gotta go right, so about to get my hair cut and i'm excited i don't know how short it's gonna be but it's gonna be short Look at my hair. It's already halfway gone. <laughs> what we're looking like already. We've got a, a little short. <laughs> it's already so short, and we're going shorter. Can't wait. Yeah, yeah. And maybe, I don't know, maybe I might want to go shorter once you cut it. But yeah, I think that's a good starting point. We'll touching the shoulder just barely and then we'll come shorter. Yeah. This is going to be so exciting. This is so... <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm like freaking out. In a good way though. I almost think I might want to go shorter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to have no hair. Oh, this is... 
Uh, I'm loving it just straight. Mm -hmm. All of 2020, 2021. <laughs> I'm like, is that why my hair grew so much? Because I couldn't do anything anyway, so I just sat at home and let it grow. <laughs> with my hair y'all I feel like a new woman I just I can't get over it you know I feel like when we as women cut our hair it's like a start of a new journey like an embarking of something new and major change and I'm so excited because I feel like my life has gone under so much change this year with having Riley and like some other things that have happened um and so you know this is just giving me a, have a head start for 2022 and I'm praying that you know it's much different <laughs> in a good way than 2020 and 2021 um, so yes I'm so 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 excited if you live in the Charlotte area I went to OA salon and the lady who cut my hair her name is Sharon she did an amazing job so next look at that ah, so cute next i want to dye my hair um so that will probably uh, i'll do that soon like not like next week soon but i'll do that soon okay so i just got home i did not tell the girls obviously that i was cutting my hair i'm trying to make sure they don't come out here so i'm gonna vlog their reaction to my hair and i'm interested to see if riley will recognize me and can i just share a little spotlight do you see all this light that's coming in it is coming in due to my little visor, car visor. Let me show it to y'all. Okay, here is the visor. All right, so I'm going to turn it off. So here is what it looks like without um, the light on. And you can strap it onto your visor like so. Hold on, back it up so you can see it. Strap it onto your visor like so. And then there are two settings. So you tap this one for more of like a warm light. But if you want it bright, bright, Look how bright that is. Crazy, right? And it's so wide. Like, I can see myself. It's so clear. I know you can't really see it too much here, but this is bomb. I'll definitely link this down below. I think this is such a great gift idea. Such a great gift idea, either for yourself or for, you know, the person that you know that's always like doing their hair in the car or their makeup in the car. It really makes a difference. Like, look how the, I'm going to show you the difference between lighting when I turn this R off and I just have like my regular car lights on look at that raggedy but look look at that isn't it great okay so we're gonna go in get the girls reaction because <laughs> i think it's gonna be fun. <laughs> what do you think of my hair <laughs> what do you think of my hair <laughs> you like it uh, you don't like it yeah I Wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm vlogging you. you. Hold on. Cut Come in. Let me get you. Your hair. hair. Y'all like my hair? I love my hair. Yes. Why don't you cut your hair? Because I wanted something different. You don't like it? I love it. No. Take your finger out your mouth. I want my hair to be long again. My hair will grow back. I, you dyed your hair? I didn't dye my hair, but I did cut it. You like it? Yeah, it looks so <laughs> different. You don't like it, Maddie? <laughs> Not so, playing my game. Emma loves it. <laughs> I don't. Maddie doesn't like it. It's because okay. It needs to be longer. <laughs> I liked it when it was longer. You liked it when it was longer? Not okay. short. <laughs> Emma's over here touching my hair. <laughs> okay, so Maddie told me, Maddie's standing back here. Maddie told me that she did like my hair after I turned the camera off. She's like, I do like it, mommy. So that is right. I can't see y'all. <laughs> That's right. But I'm still jumping. Okay, out, out. That's it. I'm gonna go get some dinner and wrap up this evening. So good morning. It is about eight. Almost 8 45 in the morning. I definitely put some little sponge rollers in my hair because I wanted my hair to have more curls. I wanted my curls to be more stacked than um 
how they looked yesterday. So I got these sponge rollers from CVS actually, but um, I'll see if I can find them somewhere where you know you can access them. I'm sure I can, I can find these exact ones on Amazon. I like them because the blue ones are smaller. Um, they have a um, smaller width and the pink ones are a little thicker, a little wider, I should say. So I'm hoping this brings a lot of like diversity of curl. So I'll show you all what it looks like when I take them out. But yeah, um, I wanna show you all these workout pants that I have been loving from Amazon. And I am gonna do a video um, of some of my favorite Amazon favorite products that I've purchased lately. A lot of them have been workout clothes. And when I tell you these are bomb.com, okay, do not judge my outfit right now. When y'all see me, <laughs> it's, it's gonna be a little raggedy. Don't judge. Okay, so like I said, don't judge the top now. This is <laughs> my pajama top. I also got this from Amazon. It's a cute little like uh, crushed velvet top with like boy shorts. Really cute if you want something like comfortable, but still a little, you know, sexy for your hubby or your man or whoever. Um, this, I love it. So this is from Amazon too. I'll go ahead and link this. But y'all, these, look at these leggings. They are so control fitting. So they have this control top at the top. I love how they hit like right at the ankle. They're very slimming. Like I feel like everything looks like, you know, nice and sucked in. Um, there is a little pocket. Yes. So there's a little pocket like right here where my thumb is. So if you were like running outside, you could stick your keys there. Or if you needed just a little bit of cash, you could stick that there. I love how high they come up on the waist and they're very comfortable. So even though they do have like a control fitting fit, they're still very comfortable, which I'm always here for. Um, very good movement. If I go to do a squat, you know, like everything is still staying up. So I don't have any, you know, I don't have to worry about like this coming down in the back, um, even though I don't be going to the gym. But if you do go to the gym and you're like, okay, I need a good fitting pair of leggings that don't like, you know, start sliding down my butt. These don't do this and they're $26 on Amazon Prime. Like you cannot beat that. I have, <laughs> y'all have no less than about a good six or seven pair of these. And then I bought matching sets because I was like, okay, these are good. I want like the matching sports bra and pants. So I'll show you all those in another video so you can actually see the sets, but it actually makes you feel motivated to like work out. And then I feel like I look good too. Cause you know, everything's kind of sucked in and you know, nipped and sucked. Um, but yes, wanted to show you these cause I've been wanting to talk about these for a while and I keep forgetting to put them in my favorites cause I've had these now for since like the beginning, no, since about the middle of October. So I've only, yeah, I've missed two favorites, October and November, but these are amazing. And like I said, for only $26, they've got really good control top and feel as some other more expensive brands. Okay, so I'm gonna go now. We're gonna cook some breakfast for a little Riley girl. Oh, last thing, this headband is also from Amazon. Girl, let me tell you, I love Amazon. So I wanted some, headbands for sweat. Let me turn the camera around so you can see it a little bit better. So I wanted a headband for sweat control, like to kind of absorb the sweat so it doesn't fall on my face. Um, so I got a 12 pack, tons and tons of colors that you, like pretty much every color you could want, you know, for a headband that could potentially match your workout outfit. I like how soft they are. Like I don't, I don't I'm hoping you can kind of get a feel of the texture. And then the back, um, is a little thinner so this is what the back of the headband looks like but you could probably wear it either way um so i really really like these i put these i slept with these last night or i slept with this last night to help lay down my edges because y'all know my edges be flying everywhere um no complaints because it's new growth I'm not complaining um but yeah this it was the pack of 12 I want to say it was definitely 10 and under so i'll link that down below like i said i have been loving some things from amazon haven't talked about them yet on my channel but i'll be bringing that to you soon expect it during chelsea okay so we're gonna make riley girl some breakfast now i was like you know i need to do better about feeding her solid foods consistently every day so here's the thing <laughs> I didn't realize that i wasn't good at scheduling a baby's schedule without the assistance of daycare because with Maddie and Emma, when I say they were on a schedule, like in the bed every night at 
they ate very well, you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but I really only had to provide the dinner and because of daycare and things like that, they were, they were, it was very easy to get them on a schedule. I just had to like stick to it, right? With Riley Girl, because I'm home until January, but I'm home with her, I've been home with her, and because my day doesn't have a tight schedule to where she has to be up at a certain time, she's not being forced to stay up all during the day, when I tell you Riley Girl's schedule is all over the place, it, there is no schedule. There's a schedule to no schedule. So with that being said, I've noticed that it's not as easy to like get her on a good when i say eating schedule like solid food eating schedule so what i mean by that is if she wakes up and she's hungry riley also does not have patience to eat a solid meal and like wait to feel satisfied so especially if she's going in of course i'm gonna give her a bottle so she can be satisfied but then if i give her a bottle you know she's not really hungry so anywho i said all that to say um trying to do better about like when she wakes up in the morning because there is a short window which is now where she's up she's not too ready for a bottle yet so i can feed her some solid foods and then when she's ready to go down for her like mid-morning nap after, yeah mid-morning to early afternoon nap you know then she would have had at least breakfast maybe breakfast and lunch so yeah i'm gonna cook her some pancakes or really a pancake and then chop it up and see you know start getting her to feed herself riley girl are you ready for your breakfast are you ready for your breakfast right slime i'm giving her some kisses i'm a little upset okay all right you want some pancakes? Yes. Yes. Okay. Making Hungry Jack pancakes. This is the best store-bought pancake mix out there. If you've not tried Hungry Jack, let me tell you, it will transform your life. Even without adding anything to it, this pancake mix is everything. So what I like to do is, I like to add a little cinnamon. So, here's the cinnamon. I know I have some. Yeah. Here we go. So typically I like to add cinnamon to it and then um, I like to use sugar in the raw instead of like regular sugar. sugar. Um, so typically I'll add these two to the Hungry Jack pancakes and let me tell you it will bless your soul. But finally girl we don't need the sugar we'll just add a little cinnamon to it. So let me do that now. Alright, Riley girl. So these are supposed to be section bowls to where they can't pick it up. What do you think? What you think? You gonna get one? Mm -hmm. Let me help you. What you think? Okay, play. You think you might like it? <laughs> Do you like it, Snucka? Is it a hit? Yes. 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 We have another one. Well, hello. How are you guys doing today? So 
from the last clip that you saw, it's probably been almost 24 hours. <laughs> Yesterday was a blur, so this is what's going on. Um, Sean and I are going out of town this weekend. Um, one of our dear friends is turning 40 and his wife is throwing him a surprise birthday party. It's a great Gatsby theme party. And when I say we are pumped, we are pumped. Like these are um, friends that we've had since college and it's a whole group of us getting together. Um, we haven't seen each other or hung out or anything like that in years, like even before the pandemic. So when I say we are hyped, we are hyped. So because of that, this whole week has just been a blur trying to like do work and then do Chelsmas and then of course like prepare for this weekend. Um, really excited that the host of the party, um, she's making everybody take a COVID test. So I feel like we can definitely party a little more free and comfortably. Um, because she's like, if I don't get a screenshot of your COVID test by 2 p.m. on Friday, you're not coming. <laughs> and she was like, do not take your test before Friday. I was like, okay, I'm here for it. <laughs> so, hence why I am looking like this. I have on my eye mask because, you know, I just want to make sure my, that my under eyes are depuffed. Um, the party is tomorrow, but, um, and today is Friday, but, you know, just kind of trying to do some things to get this face in order. So my eye patches are some of my favorite, but they're they're by Wonder Beauty. They're the Baggage Claim Gold Eye Mask. I've been wearing these masks like for definitely well over a year. Um, Wonder Beauty sends me their PR from time to time. So I think last year I tried them and I was like, oh, these are nice. I'm looking at myself in the mirror. Very hydrating under the eye. They have, um, let's see, it says that they are Therefore, they're gonna help nourish dull, tired looking skin. Um, the gold foil helps retain heat and prevents evaporation. So all of the moisture and all of the ingredients are supposed to stay you know, trapped inside of the eye patch or the eye mask, I should say, so that it really helps to sink into your skin. And then um, it says the middle layer is elastic allowing the eye mask to adhere better to the skin. And so like, I can keep, I have kept these eye masks on for like an hour and they don't slide down my face or anything like that. So love these eye masks by Wonder Beauty. Um, you can get a pack. I think within each pack, you get like four, four of these. And of course, two come in a pack. Um, and then on the chin. So I have been trying some new skincare that I think has been breaking me out. And I've been trying this skincare now for just shy of two weeks. I think Saturday or Sunday will be two weeks. And I think it's one, I'm, I'm using four new products and you know, I probably shouldn't have used all four new products at the same time. One of those, or maybe all four of them is really bothering my skin. And for the most part, I don't have sensitive skin. Like I can pretty much try anything, mix all types of skincare together and my skin is usually okay. But for some reason it's not. So I've had a lot of breakouts all along here. So I'm using the Super Clay Purify Plus Clear Power Mask. Y'all, this mask is golden so this mask does a really good job of like drawing out all impurities if your pores are clogged you've got blackheads or whiteheads and you're noticing like that's kind of the if I could say the root of your acne breakouts this mask is so good for like pulling it out um you too the people is a very clean brand they're very cognizant of what they put in their products and how they make them um we had them on behind the beauty so we had a chance to talk with them and besides the products like the people behind the products are even better so i really really like this it has niacinamide kombucha plus bhas so i'm using this mask to just kind of like draw out you know <clears throat> what's clogging up my skin because some of my breakouts actually all of my breakouts i can tell are more like impurity based um it could be irritation too from the skincare but i've seen some blackheads and some whiteheads i'm like okay i normally don't get this so like i said it's something that i'm using that my skin is just like ew but um this this really really does help so that's what's on my chin so let me let me show you the situation here if you're like me and you have to go out of town so we're leaving today i don't even begin packing until last night like late last night so um trying to get my makeup together let me show you all the situation we have here 
So this is my makeup bag, um, or just the bag that I'm carrying my makeup in. My girlfriend, um, the one who's hosting the party, she asked me to do her makeup, and I was like, oh, you know it, ma'am. So that results in me bringing uh, a ton of extra makeup. So uh, I'm going to quickly go through what I have here. So I have some more Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Eye Masks. I was just telling you guys about them. Um, and these are their limited edition Priority Pass they're all pink. Like, they're so cute. Excuse my nail here. It, I just hate it when your nails chip. Look at that. The rest of my nails still look pretty decent, but this is messing up the whole party. So now I'm like, Ugh, I hate that. So, Brangy, my favorite setting spray, the Desi Skin Spray, um, because my friend has more like normal to dry skin. So, I'm just bringing everything that I even think I possibly might need. Um, we've got, of course, my favorite La Mer Illuminator. Shar Girls Hollywood Flawless Filter. You know, we want to be bougie, bringing in Shanta Kai's Radiant Elixir. And then I have like some other products in here that I just keep in my makeup kit. Um, these are full of foundation sticks by Black Opal. So um, I really like these foundation sticks. If this is actually a drugstore brand, not this, but the foundation sticks. It's a drugstore brand, but they're really, really great cream foundation so um i was gifted almost all of theirs but i just keep them in my makeup kit to, you know just to make sure i have backups if like you know how people say they have their foundation but it's really not their shade so um this is another product from the drugstore that i love the milani soft glow complexion enhancer very 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 similar to the charlotte tilbury wonder glow so i have this and this is in the deeper shade uh zero three bronze glow this is just a mirror and some of the, these are all eye products. I've got all of my lashes and they're, I think all of them are either from um, Ardell. I love these lashes, Ardell or um, Eyelore. Most of them are from Ardell. Of course, I've got to bring my meteorites because you guys know my obsession with these. So I'm bringing both of them. Um, I was gifted the highlighters from M Cosmetics, and they are gorgeous. I'll be sharing these in my video soon. Let me show you all real quick. This is their deepest shade called Legendary. And look how stunning that is. Isn't that really pretty? I'll do a quick swatch. Look at that. They're so soft and creamy. So bringing these because um, I think they would look really pretty against her skin. She is deeper than me in terms of complexion. So, um, I think these will look beautiful on her. Okay, that's it for that. Um, I was gifted from Camera Ready Cosmetics these two palettes from Ofra, and they're really, really pretty. I've never tried them, um, but this is their On The Glow palette, and it's so, so pretty. So, um, I, you know, I just feel like I can't ever decide what exactly I might need or want or what the person might need or want. So I just try to bring as many products as possible. And this is their Pro Palette. So full of very pretty blushes. And like I said, I haven't tried it before. I don't know if the quality of their blushes is good, but I have tried their highlighters before. And I feel like Ofra is known um, a lot for their highlighters. So I'm pretty sure their blush quality is great. For eyeshadow, Natasha Denona Biba because she wants a really beautiful neutral look. And I might be going for a neutral look too, so I'm bringing Biba. It's one of my favorite neutral palettes. And then of course, if you saw day two of Chelsea's, you already know my love for this. So bringing this because the dress that I'm gonna wear, ooh, honey, chow, that dress is fire. I don't know if I'm gonna be vlogging. I probably won't vlog the party and stuff just because I don't know if people want me to do that. But I will be posting on Instagram, like my outfit and things like that. So definitely follow me there. Glam Girl Chelsea. Um, I have a little mini size of Lancome Bifacil. So definitely bringing this. And ooh, I love this cleanser by You To The People. This is this is the Super Berry Dream Cleansing Balm. Um, as you can see, it's got a lot of great ingredients in it. Hyaluronic acid. I think it's Maki and Prickly Pear. And it has a very nice thick consistency. Like it, it, it almost has the consistency of like a shea butter. Um, and so it really helps to just melt all of the makeup off of your face. And it's really, really nice. And then it washes off very easily. So definitely bringing this. 
Oh, y'all, I have to bring too much stuff. Here we go. These are my cosmetics for the daytime. Love this um, body lotion by Lancome. I love this fragrance. So this is the body lotion. Nice little beautiful bougie lotion. <laughs> um, I love using the Honey Pot as my femi feminine wash. It has a great pH to it. So it helps to keep your pH of your vaginal area um, balanced. And I feel like it really cleanses that area without irritating it. It's the only feminine wash I've ever used that I've been like, oh. So this is basically what I wash um, myself with. I try not to use any other product down there, but this is the best. Love this eye makeup remover. So bringing this and Shantikai's Purifying and, and Exfoliating Vital Active Solution. That I, I use that daily. And I also use this Blue Light Protection Hyaluronic Serum daily. Um, I haven't been using the Chantecaille products for the past couple weeks because of that new skincare that I was telling you about, that I was trying. I'm not bringing any of that this weekend. Y'all. Oh, ho, ho, ho. so I've been using this for, I think, three weeks. Let me tell you, this is the smallest size. I should have brought the largest size. It's a hydrating infused emulsion. I use it day and night. It's a hydrating type of product and it is so so good so of course I'm bringing that my favorite cleanser is the Chantecaille rice and geranium foaming cleanser so that's coming favorite deodorant is or favorite right now um is by native and this is in their earl gray and mulberry um scent so this is one of their holiday scents and with native they are always changing out like they always have seasonal scents so after the holiday season they won't be making this but this smells so so good um it's a natural deodorant i love i've been using natural deodorants now for three years so love that it actually holds me at least eight hours and it's a soft um it's a soft type of product sorry for, sorry it looks kind of used so it's not rough or irritating under the arms favorite eye cream right now for the day is by saturday skin and what is this this is their vitamin c bright eyes cream very very good hydrating under the eye i love this moisturizer by saturday skin this is the carrot plus niacinamide moisturizing cream this is so good if you have dry skin you would love this because it really melts into the skin but really makes the skin feel nice soft and supple if you have oily skin i think you could like this too because it doesn't make your skin oily it just makes it extremely hydrated so that's the moisturizer i love to use my spf right now is by suku um, I'm bringing a razor. This is my razor by Athena. Love, love, love this razor. And these are just like, <laughs> oh, you can't see. These are like little knickknacks. So, so, like, things that I get and I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna toss this in my travel makeup bag. Then I have a whole bunch of lip products. So, um, here are all the lip products that I'm bringing. And for me, I'm gonna be wearing... I don't know. I think I want to go for a red lip. So either Christian Audette Blood. This is from their um, collect, uh, collab with Gigi Good. Or I might want to go for a nude lip. So I'm bringing Christian Audette Noel. But then I'm like, I don't know. I might want something a little more pink. So this is by Christian Audette again. You're Fire. One of my favorite shades by them. And for lip liners. Oh, oh, oh. For lip liner, depending on what lip I go with, I might want to use BK Beauty's lip liner. I think this is, yeah, Ultra Ego. It's a beautiful, like, deep reddish burgundy color. And if I go for red lips, I don't know what combo, so I might want to wear Christian Louboutin's red lipstick with Sephora Collection Always Red. I don't know. See, I don't know, so I have to bring options. Or if I go for, like, a more pink, base type of lip, then I might use this Sephora lip liner. I mean, liquid lipstick in the shade, it's 94. I forgot the name, but it's shade 94. And then the rest of these, um, oh, and then the rest of these lipsticks are gonna be options for my girlfriend. So they're all like nude base because she loves nude lips. So lip liner choice for her will be one of these. I thought I brought my other one by pad. I guess I didn't. Oh, here it is. So I've got four variations of um, a nude lip liner, well, brown-based lip liner. And then for nude lipsticks, I, I got all lipsticks that I've never used before. So
So they're all nude versions, nude types. So these are by Wayne Goss. And you guys know I love Wayne Goss's lipsticks. They're very hydrating. So I've got nutmeg, macadamia, and cashew. These are all like, I think these are all peachy pinks. I mean, peachy nudes. So there's one. This is cashew. Then we have macadamia. And then nutmeg. So, like I said, not sure what she, what type of nude we might go for. Then I've got this lip gloss by Ofra, and I thought it was really pretty, nice and shimmery. This is the shade Queen. Um, then Il Maquillage sent me all of their new lipsticks, and they're really, really nice. So this is a pinky nude in the shade Wani. I think that's how you pronounce it. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Don't you love the detailing on this? It's really, really nice. I have to um, do lip swatches of all of them. Um, but like I said, I wanted to give her or let her use a lipstick that I've never used, no one's used. And then for nighttime skincare, I keep it very simple, but I have more in here that I could be using. So once again, I just try to keep, I always tend to keep like travel stuff in my skincare bag. So like I've got travel Nivea, it's almost gone now. So for my nighttime skincare, it's very simple. I'm going in with some type of like serum. So I either will go in with this Tula Wrinkle Treatment Drops. It's a retinol alternative, which I really like because retinol is, it is a little too much for my skin. So this retinol alternative is perfect. So I love to use that. I'll use this one like every other night or every couple of nights. Or I'll go in with um, glycolic acid, and I left that upstairs. It's like, I'll use either the Pixie one. I've got a couple different ones that I'll go through, but they're not in here. And then I love using the Lumiere moisturizer at night. This is like my go-to moisturizer at night. And I still have, it's funny, I've been using samples all year because every time I place an order at Lumiere, I'll get one of these as a sample. And you don't need a lot. So these samples, like this, this size sample can last me probably a couple months, especially because I only use it at night. And you know, sometimes you don't wash your face at night. So like I can go a couple months with this one. This size will last me like a month. So um, <laughs> it's funny, I've never had to purchase a normal size of the La Mer moisturizer because I'll, you know, make orders from La Mer every like, every couple of months and then I get one of these. So this is my go-to moisturizer at night. And of course, when I run out of samples, I will purchase the big size, but I haven't had to yet. And I love the La Mer eye cream. Um, and I think when I run out of this, which I'm almost done, I am gonna purchase the full size. It is so bougie, but it is so good. And when you think about it, that eye cream is gonna last me pretty much probably like a year because this sample has lasted me a good three months and I've had a few of these. So once again, I haven't had to buy the full size. Guys, I'm not even, I'm, this is another, bag of makeup that I'm bringing this and now this is more so for like the makeup that I'm choosing from so I'm not going to go through everything but I'll quickly go through it this is Laura Mercier powder I always bring at least one of these Givenchy blushes always anytime I travel one of these blushes is coming so this is shade five and these are this is like a mixture of cooler and warmer toned pinks um say cream blonde bronzer Kosas bronzer a couple of pat blushes for foundation for the party definitely wearing very valentino dr1 um if i do my makeup during the day lisa eldridge of course dream skin by dior armani luminous silk glow powder gucci bronzer il maquillage primer rose ink concealer um girl on bronzer and of course, you guys know, Kosas powder, it's a must. Um, Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I liked using this before my makeup, especially when I go out and I kind of want to make sure my skin looks really nice, hydrated and glowy and all of that good stuff. LYS Think Bright Glow Serum. Um, Tatcha Luminous Silk Dewy Skin Mist. Cause sometimes, you know, I need a little pick me up. And this is, now this is going to be more of like an oily um, spray, but sometimes if I feel like my face is looking too matte, 
I'll use this a few, like just a few spritz of this and it'll kind of bring life back to it. And then Range Beauty Smooth Out Translucent Setting Powder. That's what's, that, that's what's in there. What's not in there, but I have to throw in my bag. The Hourglass Ambient Lighting Volume 3 palette. And then finally, I have my Hermes blushes the Hermes highlighter, and then one more of the M Cosmetics highlighters. And guys, that is all I'm bringing with me. Oh, and I haven't even, we haven't even packed brushes yet. Well, and we haven't even packed brushes yet, but I'll go ahead and pack those. <laughs> Eye brushes are over here. I'm just gonna throw a whole bunch of them in the bag and then I'll wash them when I get there. Okay, so 18 hours later, <laughs> we're done. So I have to finish packing. Now I've got to put all this stuff back in the bag. I have to film a video for Vlogmas and then um, edit that video so I, it can go up later today. And then uh, we'll get on the road. So I'm ending this vlog because I gotta go. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if I can, I'll vlog some of the party. If I can't, then I'll just post pictures. But guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye guys.